Good day, good day! <laughs> How the heck are you? Welcome to Roverland! This is your friend Dan Owen. We've got an unboxing for you today. Yeah, wow, and it's a big box, huge box, not even in frame all the way. Uh, they had to send it to my house because they couldn't send it a P.O. box. I don't understand, but anyway. Uh, yeah, unboxing Saturday. Let's see what we got. I kind of know what this is, so I kind of got some stuff around. Uh, this came from N-A-M-P-A. Uh, I believe that's uh, Nampa? Yeah, Nampa. Oh, now I'm, now I'm hitting the hitting the camera and everything. All right, let's check it out. Let's check it out. What do we have here? I'm going to lift it out and uh, set it back down. You ready? Ba bam Here it is. Yeah, there we are. Unbelievable. Look at that baby right there. Throw the box over there. Yeah. All right, we got to bring her down here. We got to bring her down here. Whoa. Yes, sirree. What do we have here? This is beautiful shape. Wow. Not bad at all. Obviously, a uh, new bright. Um, and uh, yeah, just part of a Land Rover. Freelander, right? Yeah, but this is pretty nice. This has got pretty much everything on it that I need, <laughs> except for wheels. I don't have any wheels. All right. Yeah. So, um, what did I, I was like 13 bucks plus shipping here. Let me, uh, hold on a second. I'm going to show you, I, I have one of these already, but bam, here it is. Holy cow. Look at this big, huge thing. Yeah. So this is the, uh, exact same thing. Uh, so this is what it looks like uh, when it comes from, well, minus the dust. Uh, holy cow, been working at the shop a little bit. There, got everything kind of coated in dust. Oh, this one's busted. This one's broke. I wonder if I should uh, replace this and uh, use this one for my uh, fooling around. But yeah, this is, um, this is what we got here is uh, regular... Old uh, remote control. These are um, basically um, the uh, the type that you would get from uh, Walmart. Now it's got this huge, big push bar on there, and that's hooked to the uh, hooked to the uh, you know the chassis and stuff. So you can uh, really uh, ram it around and stuff like that. So anyway, there we go. This is what this is what I got, and this is what it looks like. With these big, huge wheels. Look, look at the wheels. They don't even fit, fit in the wheel well uh, for, for real. So, <laughs> for reals. <laughs> All right. So, this is what I got. So, why would I buy something like this? Well, because I would like to make a uh, regular one. You know, just a regular one. Uh, yeah, like I said, it was uh, under $15 I got this. And uh, now I can... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I might replace it with that one um, on my uh, on the uh, regular uh, chassis there that it came on because that one was pretty beat up. Because what I'd like to do is uh, take the decals off because those are all decals on there. Take those off, and then you would be left with a silver. Uh, you'd want want to keep the headlights on. Those are pretty nice and. Uh, uh, you know, uh, detailed there could uh, punch out these, put some LEDs or something in here. These fog lights, or, or if I was going to do like a NASCAR theme, I could uh, put air ducts for the brakes in there. But uh, otherwise, yeah, it's just a uh, canopy piece in there for the windows, uh, window canopy. All the windows are rolled up. Uh, nothing spectacular for the rear rear mirror there or side mirror, excuse me uh, Nice little roof rack. This one is all in pieces. Like I say, this is a pretty good example Like I say, I'm, I might just uh, switch that around and uh, Put this one on there. So when I go to uh, Do with this, you know, uh, maybe I might change the color. So that one had a, a crack in the top uh, That one I, I think I only paid a couple of bucks at a uh, local uh, uh, what would they call boot sale or, or whatnot? 
But uh, yeah, this one here is in uh, pretty, pretty good nick. So I don't know. Well, anyway, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, kinda, uh, I would like to strip this down, take all these uh, goofy decals and everything on it, and uh, make it a regular static model, uh, 118th scale, uh, something that uh, others haven't had. So I was looking around the shop and uh, I found some wheels. So let's see if we get the, oh yeah, these wheels would work. Yeah, I, <laughs> check this out. <laughs> I got some, I got some old GI Joe wheels. I think I don't know what these are from, but they're huge. And uh, well, I guess that's not gonna work out. Yeah, they're, they're as tall as the model. So anyway, well, that's not gonna work. Uh, so now my hunt for a set of real uh, wheels is um, on the way here. Yeah. So. Um, well, here, let me show you uh, another one uh, that I kind of have started, and uh, for some whatever reason, I uh, have uh, taken a break from. Okay, here I got, got it here. Hold on here. Here it comes. Slide it in here. In here. Yeah, check this out. So this is uh, one of that I have already started um, uh, working on and uh, customizing. And uh, like I say, I just put it on the shelf, and uh, this is this is a uh, cigar box with all the parts from this vehicle inside. So all the uh, interior and all that is inside. And so uh, this is an Ertl model that uh, uh, you know I have uh, several of. And uh, matter of fact, let me uh, grab one real quick. Okay, I ran over to the shelf there and. Uh, Grabbed another one uh, that I have. This one's got a wheel missing or whatnot. Well, anyway, this one's got tires missing on it, and so this was uh, what it what. Uh, well, that one's uh, that's uh, oh, I'm sorry, that's a Burgo. Hey, that's a Burgo. That's not an Ertl. The Ertl one is the 118 scale. Oh, excuse me, sorry about that. And this is a 124 scale. So this one is a little bit easier to find wheels for because there's a lot of 124 scale cars out there. So this is kind of what I started with here uh, on this one. Now this one I bought like this. Uh, I can't remember where I bought this one. But anyway, so that's where I, I got this one here. And I, and I did some uh, uh, different uh, stuff here. Uh, like I said, it's missing some of the, uh, uh, you know, lenses and stuff like that. I was trying to do some artwork with the, uh, the body and stuff like this, but I had another uh, green one or several green ones. I don't know, whatever. So anyway, so yeah, that's where I'm trying to uh, build a uh, NASCAR uh, addition with the roll cage and things like that, kind of the same scale. So uh, yeah, well anyway, so that's what I'm gonna try to do with this one here. <laughs> is is I I need to uh, I'll take a uh, um, and. You know, someday I'd like to show you guys all my shenanigans, what I do on this channel and, and stuff like that, uh, is, you know, I'd, I'd get a uh, base plate, uh, you know, it, it would uh, attach at three points here, and so we'd have to make sure that's pretty stiff, which I do have some stuff, and then I have to, uh, I go to a lot of thrift stores and uh, stuff like that, so I'd like to find some uh, regular tires now, I probably won't find uh, Land Rover rims, but I can find some aftermarket uh, tires that I can uh, go ahead and make a static model of this and then uh, kind of, you know, make it uh, look like a custom. Now, eventually, I'd like to um, find something with an interior and be able to uh, put an interior in it and take these, this uh, tinted uh, dark glass out so then we could uh, detail the interior. But for right now, it would be just uh, cool just to be able to take off these stickers and, uh, you know, and uh, go from there and just make a nice, clean model. Yeah, see, these stickers are going to be a pain to get off. And uh, in doing so, I might ruin the paint job because uh, the paint job on this is, is pretty darn toot and nice. But anyway, yeah, now I kind of goofed that all up, and I might be putting this on the other one. <laughs> but that's all right. New bright, new bright isn't all that uh, important to me on this model. But there you go. So what a uh, unboxing 
uh, Saturday, kind of a one one car deal. Uh, just kind of a neat look at that. And uh, yeah, so the hunt continues, and now I need tires. <laughs> All right. Well, give me a big thumbs up if you like this video. There's my big thumb. Uh, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, hit the like button. And uh, yeah, just uh, tell your friends about it, all right? All right, that's it. I'm out of here. Thank you for joining me today on uh, Unboxing Saturday. Hope you guys are finding stuff out there in the wild as well. And yeah, we're getting into the holiday season, so I'm going to start saying happy holidays. Merry Christmas to you, all right? <laughs> all right, come on over to Facebook, Roverland, Instagram, Roverland Channel. And as always, I'm out of here with your friend Dano. Slow traffic, keep right. Have a great Rover day.